Welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft Remastered. I am your host, Miracle Tiger, and we are gonna be moving on from the last mission. With the Protoss forces beaten and scattered, the Overmind has withdrawn the swarms to the remote Ash World of Char. The New Dominion. Behold the power of that which is yet unborn. For the swirling images that flow forth from the chrysalis are only a shadow of the sleeper's true power. The psionic emanations of the chrysalis have reached out into the depths of space and lured our enemies to us. Even now, we are aware of their plans. Close formation. Scan for hostiles. Emperor Arcturus believes that there's Zerg out here, so it's our job to flush them out. I don't want any slip-ups this time. We'll show these critters that they can't run from the Terran to me. Engage the Terran forces with care. Your priority is to protect the Chrysalis at all costs. Alright, so protect the chrysalis and eliminate the Terran prisons. This is actually going to be a mission that takes a little while to do. And I will be making extensive use of these guys. The Mutalisk. Uh, which are pretty interesting. That's because uh, we're going to have to face a base with a lot of shit going on around here. And uh, I don't want to have to deal with any of it. So... For once, our base is still very fucking far from the resources and the gas, but I don't care really. Well, I do care, but whatever. I wanna make more drones, come on. I believe the larva respawn at about the rate of making a drone, well, uh, making half a drone or something like that. So it's relatively fast, but it's still not fast enough. And uh, there are a decent amount of minerals in those uh, in those fields, so I don't think I'm gonna need more. There is an expansion to be had, though, and I will probably get it. Because that way I'm gonna have a base closer to things. Alright, drone. Make my make me an extractor. Gonna need that delicious Vespine gas. I could go and explore out. I don't think I should. I need to get myself some uh, ground defenses. I won't need to make any of those upgrades. The funny thing is, uh, for the Zerg, they don't actually have a... How can I say it? They can upgrade their base. So that's cool. I don't think any of the other... No, the other races can't do that. So, th there's that to look forward to. There's a ramp up here. Also, we are on Char right now, which is a... A molten, barren wasteland with a lot of nasties. Which... What? What the? Oh my god! They actually had to drop ship, drop them down there, and then they walk down here, and they had stim packs already. Oh my god! I need more drones. Ugh, that's so annoying. I was gonna make something with that drone. They literally attacked the exact drone I was controlling there. Okay, then I guess I can't expand over here until I'm done with uh, making my expansion either. Let's make some uh, ground defenses here then. On more, more drones. Let's go. Got no time to waste. This mission, dude. I I asked you to move. Thank you. Yeah, this mission is somewhat long because you have to deal a lot of damage, and uh, it'll take forever. And yeah, I'll put four drones on this this time around. I don't like doing that, but I gotta do it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. More ground defenses. Come on, man. You can do it. There you go. 
So now at least we have something to defend it around here. A small perimeter, but a perimeter nonetheless. Let's make another one here. Come on. It might look like I have a lot of uh, the spin gas right now, but it's all gonna go away. It's all gonna go away. I'm gonna upgrade into lair. The cool thing too is that upgrading into lair is not really that big a deal. With Terran buildings, if you make a an extension of a building that attaches to it, you can't create any units. For this one, don't care. They're they're lava. They're gonna keep being created anyway. So you don't you don't really care. The minerals are not really coming in fast. So this is a pretty decent perimeter, but it's not really that good. So I'm gonna definitely use my hydralisk as well. Might leave a small force to defend, but mostly it's gonna be these guys. I wanna have another one of those uh, something colonies over here. The AI could try to bypass my stuff, like they, they really could easily get something from the air to land over here and then attack me from the back. So I don't know if I want to do something about that as well. But an evolution chamber is actually extremely useless. I guess I can make the rest into um, hydralisks. Come on. Yeah, the money is not, it's not rolling in really fast. These guys are actually extremely good against the, the Zerg, because they do fire, and fire damage is good against the organic units. Uh, you can have overlords here do stuff. I don't think it's really needed. But you, I want to make a spire as soon as I have the money. Really need to get more drones and that money, actually. So I'm gonna take care of that really fast after this. We require more minerals. Gonna do my best to make this a very quick thing because this, like, you could easily be here for about 30, 40 minutes still. They're not getting any any faster. Yeah, all, all that, all that, I'm gonna move one of them over here. All that gas, that's, that's good enough, I think. I could make them transport units and stuff, and I, like, there, there's a hole here where nothing happens, so you can just skip over and just fly over and drop stuff there, but, nah, I don't like that strategy very much. So I'm gonna hold back on it and not do it. Instead, I'm gonna make more hydralisks. Yeah. And then I'll make nucleus next. I'm gonna upgrade them to maximum because I will be making like 20 of them and then attacking with that. Mutalisks are decent fighters. Their attacks jump from one another, like from one target to another. And uh, the thing is, they're not that good though uh, until much later when you can upgrade them because they can mute into something else. And that's really great because their upgraded form is pretty strong. It's just, it just takes a while, like a really long time to get that. Alright, so we have this field, uh, but I think this you can't build over this, so my base is still going to be far from like everything still, but yeah, I don't know. It's still a decent place, I guess. Let's make some uh, drones take over that place. I think they might come and drop some units to try and fight me, or come up here. The problem with this map is that the enemies actually have tanks 
And I don't want to deal with that. So, this is the closest I can get, I guess. It's not very close. They have tanks. That's not cool. They can really easily destroy everything I have with their siege mode. So I want to avoid that. Let's make some more of those. That's an overlord. Uh, Scourge are another unit you can morph into. I can't show it right now, but they are basically kamikaze. They... Oh, okay. Can they deal with that? Oh god, they're really dying fast. Okay, cool, they can deal with it. So yeah, they can kamikaze into your into your into enemy units, and they cost really not a lot, and they deal in an enormous amount of damage. But they can only do that like the third damage against flying units, so that's not very cool. I need a second hatch route, but gonna get it with here. In fact, I'm gonna move them here as well, and I need another drone. You are gonna morph into a colony. As soon as that base is, is done, after takes a million years, you're gonna morph here. And you're gonna make more drones. Good. You need to make defense as well. And now just you. You're gonna make another colony here for defense. Ground. More drone. You drone, make me a colony here. I don't think they're gonna send tanks. I don't think they're even like gonna send any air units, so I'm safe with that. Let's make another hatchery here. It'll be faster. Then we can start getting more resources faster as well. So yeah, I'm gonna be using uh, flying units and. Uh, that will be basically it. Okay, so if you produce stuff, send them here. Alright, you two are gonna start gathering stuff. Let's go! This is but an, an, a small part of what is gonna be my fleet. Require more minerals. Yeah, it, they cost a decent amount of resources. It's about a hundred. Minerals and a hundred uh, Vespine per. So that's why I need more minerals and more Vespine as well. Ah, this freaking thing in the way. I hate that. Can't build over it. What a shame. Okay, you two are gonna go and gather more stuff as well. Need to make more overlords. More you are not enough to make a squad yet. Oh, there are some dudes coming in. Where are they gonna come in though? Oh, here, alright. Yeah, you're dead. I might actually just research this because this is still good, even if, if it's for just for defense. I do believe Zerg creatures like regen faster on the creep, but. Don't quote me on that one. That may just be like rumors. Rumors that I invented to myself. I'm gonna need to make more uh, overlords actually. Oh, there are some flying units over there. Dudes, all come in, come on. That's my first force. Okay, you guys are gonna have to hold back a little bit here. While uh, some of you regenerate. Gonna make more of those. Yeah, now I need more Vespin. Yeah, okay, good. Now 
now I need more Vespin gas. Let's have you go and collect. Oh no, you can go and collect and drop this up first and collect more Vespin gas. I think I can keep grading those too. I'm gonna do that, definitely. Let's see. This might be my first fleet. And my second is gonna be over here. That's six already. Oh, I have two, uh, two drones over here. Let's send them over. Yeah, I really need more Vespin gas right now. I am very short. That's fine, here, since I'm gonna make more overlords now. We almost have our fleet ready. That's 12 boys. And over here we have six boys. Just need six more. Everything is not enough. I'll just send those guys over to here. They move very slowly still. Let's see, that's seven boys. I need after these, I'm gonna need three more. So that's one. Yes, that gas is coming. And that's two. And... Come on. That's three. So all of them should be ready after this. They're gonna attack again. Alright, so that's one less. Alright, there we go. We have our second strike, so let's go ahead and save. So, three. Most of their dudes we should have no real problems here. We just need to get rid of everything that can attack us. Very minimal losses, actually. They're all like really, really injured a lot, though. Okay. Let's see if we can destroy like everything here. I don't really care. We're gonna be fine. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. They're not that bad. Uh, they deal line plus two damage, and their shots do does jump over. So the more things are clumped up, the better it is for. Everybody. The 
thing is, like, uh, this is really bad. I did this because they have really imposing ground forces. So if I didn't do this, I would be really screwed here. I don't really have to destroy everything about the Terrans, but I think we're gonna probably be fine very soon. There's a lot of defenses here on the way, so by doing this just bypasses them all completely, and it's much easier this way. this and this should be more than enough. They will all go away. Alright, you sorry bastards, fall back. Fall back. Hold Cerebrates, do not pursue them. Cerebrates, you must stay and relocate the Chrysalis to a more secure location. Dagoth shall deal with the remaining Terran forces. There we go. It was as short as it could be. Oh, actually, it actually could be much shorter than that. I've seen the, I've seen speed runs of this game. It's pretty crazy, but this is as best as I can do, I think. Maybe maybe a bit less on the army side would have been good too, but there we go. Anyway, I will see you next time for the next mission where we relocate the chrysalis and maybe learn what it's all about. As if there's any mystery over, you know? This game is like 20 years old, so yeah. If you don't know what's going on, well, you'll know soon, I guess, and uh, I I'm glad you that you are disinvested in it. Anyway, have a good day. This has been Miracle Tiger, and I will see you next time.